This week I worked to repair the head sail in preparation for offshore sailing. We call on the experts to take over when the job is too optimistic for our little machine. We are Paige and Daniel, traveling with our great Dane Winston. We abandon our careers for a life of adventure. Join us as we travel to Fort Lauderdale and tour the Ullman Sales Florida Sail Loft while our head sail gets a new set of threads. Uh, I'm going to start with a cross stitch with a zigzag stitch because the, they have a zigzag stitch. So I'm going to start with a zigzag stitch. We're going to start with the furthest one out and start moving our way in. Shit, what was that? I have no idea what's wrong. I thought it was the tension. I thought it was... It doesn't seem like it's too thick. It's just, I think it's just heavier duty material. All right, so I'm calling a friend. My mom is a seamstress. She'll be able to help, right? Moms know everything. Hey, sweetheart, what's up? Hey, I, I need your help. Sailrite should be able to do this job. I have a 20 gauge needle. Everything is geared up right. I tested on another piece. It works just fine, but I think this material is too hard, mm -hmm. too thick. You are caller number one in queue. So I just heard back from the Sailrite uh, tech service and um, he asked for some pictures. We sent pictures of our situation and he is suggesting a 22 uh, gauge needle. So we're gonna have to go to the store and get a gauge 22 needle. I am, um, I'm at a loss. Sailrite got back to me pretty quickly and he uh, noticed that in my picture that the needle was not installed correctly. So I pulled out my nifty how-to book and uh, did a proper install of the needle. So that may help. And uh, if he, he said, if that doesn't work, then I may need to do a old style hand crank where I will actually change out this balance wheel for a super duper heavy duty one and hand crank no luck. So I got the big monster wheel on. No bueno. And we're going to hand crank this. See, this is why I did it. Daniel, do you want to try? I can give it a shot. It's like Excalibur. It, it has to rotate this way. Yeah, I know. No, it's just stopped. Did this pin break or something? No. Yes. Yes, pin broke. Damn it. Daniel really sure told it what for. Yep. So we try again? Yep. All right, so after some back and forth with Sailrite, uh, they requested that I send them a video of one, how things are set up on the machine, and two, what is it actually doing when I'm attempting to make this repair? Wow, that, I don't know if I've ever worked with a company with such good customer service. They immediately got back with me and said, hey, try this it might actually be the tension on this belt. So I am going to work to make some corrections to that tension now and we'll see if it works. It's not budging. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm frustrated. I don't know if you guys can tell. And here we go. You know, I hate feeling defeated and that's kind of how I feel right now. I feel like this machine, 
Like I, I, I'm either not using it correctly or it's not meant for this job. And that is so frustrating. It's a sale right. It, like it's supposed to be able to do these things. Frustrated with myself. I'm frustrated with the machine. The customer service has been great. Don't get me wrong. But if I can't get the darn thing to work, it's not going to do us any good. Sales are extremely important on a sailboat. And right now our head sail just makes me nervous. Uh, we have to get this done before we leave. So I guess the next leg of the story is <sighs> professional help. <laughs> Calling in the experts uh, for somebody to help us uh, get through this process because this is super important. Now I have been having the most difficult time repairing the sail, the head sail to plot twist. So we made a six hour drive and we are now in Fort Lauderdale uh, and Ullman Sales is going to do the repair for us. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully this will, the saga will be completed. So we are at Ullman Sales, Florida and we are with the owner, Gareth. Hi, how are you doing? We're super excited. I mean, we've already uh, gotten all the sale on the table. Everything looks like it's gonna be real quick to take care of. Um, and we're, we're super happy to be here. Thank you for getting us in so quickly and being able to get this taken care of. Not a problem. So what we'll do is, I guess, just a quick little tour of the downstairs area, and then we'll go upstairs whilst uh, Bill attends to your sale. It's the entrance to the loft and uh, the parking lots on the other side. And what we basically turned this room into is a 24 seven uh, drop off and pick up room because we kind of opened this loft in March, 2020, which as we know was the start of COVID and no one knew what was going yeah. on. Long story short, you could come here at your own steam, um, be separate from you know, our staff, our staff would be separate from you. And um, we would issue you a one time a unique password that would open the door and same for picking up and you would come into this room this door to the main loft would be locked uh, we have a ring uh, security system so we are able to watch you and talk to you if you need any help these instructions on the wall but basically you come in drop off your sale leave your phone number your name your email a couple of notes for the sale maker if you wish otherwise we'll just you know address the whole sale as is very cool and um at our own speed we'll you know process it in the loft and then put it back in there and email you an invoice so quite literally if you wanted to it would be you wouldn't even see us so sale comes into this room again so this is our larger machine. This is a Solent machine uh, from Solent sewing machines in the United Kingdom. We imported this. Uh, it's a SZK650. It's a zigzag pneumatic controlled uh, sewing machine. It's our workhorse. It uh, pretty much does, I'd say, 90% of our sales. This is the professional sail route machine. Uh, very capable of sewing Dacrons. It could very easily do your sail and uh, because we have the bigger, we just utilize that mostly for spinnakers, which is, for those of you that may not know, yep. is the downwind sails, nylons, light stuff. We've got a lot of storage underneath the table. It's strong enough to walk on, which is what we do pretty much on a, on a daily basis. Uh, we do that in order to you know, manipulate the sail. That's where we need it. And I don't know if you want to follow one of you, follow me over sure. here. Over here we have the air compressor, which is obviously the pneumatic side of the larger sewing machine. Um, the hoses run underneath the table nice and neatly and supply the compressed air. We got a hydraulic press just for a couple of rings. It's a bunch of pulleys, ropes, chains that we uh, manipulate spinnakers and code zeros throughout the loft. We've got our 10 by 10 door so we back up our van here. We can slide sails perfectly in and out the back of the car onto the table if it was raining or if they're really big and we don't want to use the front entrance. Sure. You guys, so I guess you guys do delivery too. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Um, bunch of rope from Glanstein, Germany. We use that uh, pretty, we service a lot of catamarans as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, being the OEM supplier for, you know, Leopard, Balance, uh, Royal Cave, Kinetic, wow. 
a lot of uh, catamarans made in South Africa. So we kind of stick to the 12 mil. We use mm. that a lot. Um, and then above your head, we have a electric hoist, which we, you know, you don't have a loft in your loft. Isn't really a loft. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we put our new sails up here for storage when we're waiting to install them. Um, this is kind of a big storage area, and yep. this uh, little crane here helps us pass those sails through this area, so we don't congest the what I call dance floor. Yeah. Um, our main sewing table. So let's go and have a look upstairs. Absolutely. printer and uh, with this printer we do a couple of little projects uh, mostly for us we can do sales uh, logos we can put logos on your boat and um, we do a couple of private things with it and uh, power boats too there's a lot of center consoles in Florida so yeah. that's a another little project that we, we play with it's quite a nice machine behind you as I mentioned earlier you got the we've got bodies on wheels so we can hoist that sail up onto here yesterday we just used this for a leopard 48 uh, in St. Petersburg we drove over there and back in one day so that's eight hours of driving <laughs> plus, plus the install so it was a long day but yeah you can see here clearly we've got a couple of sails that are due to get installed just waiting on uh, the snowbirds typically you know, they're new sails, they don't want to put them on in summer whilst they're going to get rained on in the humidity and they're not going to use it. Yeah. They wait till about this time of the year. Um, but the new, the new InSport is obviously it's a foil board below your feet mm -hmm. and you're holding a, a wing. I uh, don't have one inflated but we stock a bunch of them and uh, we actually distribute from our loft to the other lofts. And on behalf of Holman Wind Sports, which is founded in um, Cape Town as well mm -hmm. and distribute them to customers from here. Nice. So if you're interested in that, where are the people to call? Nice. Okay. And this is our basically consulting lounge, office, coffee break room <laughs> that we have our customers come in and have a chat. We've got all the materials we need um, from sailcloth samples, from the major manufacturers, Contender, Dimension Holland and uh, Challenge Sailcloth. Uh, we've got our catalogues uh, of what we manufacture and sell, both on the wall and in the files by, uh, at the table here. All your major distributors like Bamar, Bainbridge, Harkin, so we can talk hardware if that's part of the process of building the sale. Uh, a couple of desks for the staff and salesmen. And behind you we have something very exciting too, which is the recycled sail cloth from the manufacturing process. So what's unique about what Rachel England's doing in spearheading, Rachel England is Ullman's CEO's daughter and she spearheads the Ullman sales gear division. And what this is exactly is offcuts from the manufacturing of new sails. So uh, other manufacturers of you know, bags made of sailcloth kind of use used sails, which is great too, but there's a lot of wastage in the offcuts of a new sail, so that's kind of, you know, unique. So we've got a bunch of bags, from toiletry bags, to beach bags, to duffel bags, I think I like the uh, briefcase. Yeah. Here we go. Isn't that cute? That's yours. Very fashionable. <laughs> you can take that. <laughs> so, so cute. We'll put a link in the description for you for oh, Ullman yeah. Sales yes, Gear. Yes, absolutely. Um, if you're interested in a gift or something for yourself, um, they're really nice, well-made bags. All right, so the printer you were telling us about earlier, how do we go about doing that? You get a logo printed for your sales, yes. So right. typically, if it's a new sale, we'll do the printing uh, at the manufacturing loft in okay. South Africa, Cape Town. Cool. However, we can facilitate printing here, and depending on the application, whether we're printing um, a logo for a sale or a logo for the back of your boat, we'll insert the correct grade uh, sticky back uh, printing paper. On, onto the printer and would print directly onto that and depending if you want a cloud behind the word or the image or if it's just directly the image there's a small little knife on the printer that once it's printed it'll outline exactly what you printed and peel and stick. 
Cool. Cool. Yeah. So we could actually get our logo on an existing sale. We don't have yes. to buy a whole brand new sale. You could do that. That um, is It is so a large cool. printer. However, it's, it is um, uh, a little handicapped size. To, to the size it can do. Uh, but what you can do is basically with the computer program that speaks with it is divide that if it's a big logo up into sections and then you just got to line those uh, sections up very carefully so from a distance you don't see it which is pretty simple to do you guys could totally do that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think that's awesome we might we might get logos on our sales we what do you think it. well i think the, the spinnaker already has a logo the, the spinnaker does have a logo yeah, the spinnakers, because it's a lot now, nylon, you want to have that painted on. Oh, okay. Okay. You don't want to go and put a, um, a PSA or an insignia on top of that. Oh, so getting it on it. our main sale. Yeah, that on sale, sale, yeah, you definitely, um, definitely won't impede the performance or the look of the sale. With, with having It'll only make it look logo. snazzier. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think people should know about that. That is, that, I think that's really cool. Absolutely. I'm all about accessorizing. Yeah. So we got The mere fact that this luff tape which is goes in your foil and holds mm -hmm. the sail on the foil that the rope's there and not all the way up here where it started when it was new right. means this is all completely useless right mm -hmm. and it's not going to affect the, the how it goes up the foil and it's not going to affect how it fills on the foil so the process is called capping because you just cap it okay um, and then like he said i think he's going to put a little bit of something something over here because you've got some sun damage here I quite clearly see you have some stitching coming undone. Um, it looks like this was obviously restitched. You can see the right. machines run t twice here. Yeah, after it gets in the sun for a while. Yeah, that's gone. Oh, so it needs a restitch. But that's that said, I'll look over the whole thing though. Obviously got the small, but it's basically exactly the same machine, same servo motor and what have you. Uh, obviously a little bit longer, so you can get bigger sales. But because we have that larger machine, we typically use this for spinning. Oh, okay. And before you sew your sail, you always want to make sure the machine's doing what we want it to do um, on a sample. So we'll use that. That way we don't make unnecessary holes in the sail trying to tune the machine in for the job that. About to do. Sewing well. Threads are really close together. I'm going to open that up just as hair. And then you want to look on the back side to see your bobbin tension, and you can see there's no looping or anything. It's pulled nice and tight, so we're happy with the tension. Yeah, and it has not, you can probably see like where we've been trying to punch. Yeah. Where we've been trying to punch through and it's just not. It just stops. It's an optimistic job for the little machine. Uh, another thing I've learned from Bill is that can all just sail like that. You're obviously sewing the head, so you've got a lot of patches, obviously. That's not repair, that's um, for reinforcement and strength. Mm -hmm. It's a, a load bearing area. But as the sail ages and exposed to sun and salt, it kind of stiffens the sail cloth and you know, even if you do get through with the needle, the thread dot can... can it, uh, this salt will crystallize salt inside the sail and it will make like rock hard spots and shatter needles as well. Wow, what kind of paste or basting tape did you use? Pressure sensitive adhesive, it's, uh, but it's a um, spectra weave. Oh, wow. So spectra floats and it's got a uh, really, really high tensile strength. <laughs> Is that pneumatic? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's, this is um, a middle of the range guy. There's, they make a smaller one. This is the middle. And really 
big one too. <laughs> it's a super maxi. And those will sew through basically, you know, half inch plywood. My but goodness. Yeah, we got ridiculous needles. So that's all sewn. And now all you have to do is put it on the other machine and sew down. Sew down the tape. Yep. All wow. The love tape. And that's your repair. So that'll be stronger than it was originally. Sure. <laughs> you want to do a full restitch on the sun cover? Uh, yeah, you think it needs sun? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's do it. Not introduced earlier, but going to be introduced now is Bill. Bill is the man. He is taking care of our sale. He's stitched it. Now he's putting a stitch in our sun cloth to make sure that that stays nice and tight. And it's just going to be beautiful work. So, everyone say hi to Bill. That is a look of focus and determination and getting a job done real good. Say hi, Bill. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him alone now so he can focus. <laughs> Thank you. It's a repaired head sail. Oh, I'm so glad that <laughs> is taken care of. Yeah. One big thing that I don't have to worry about. Absolutely. And and they went ahead and stitched the entire sunbrella back onto the sail. So that's something that we don't have to worry about for another two to three years. Yeah. So <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm so happy. So, um, Gareth, Bill, you guys have been absolutely fantastic thank um, you so much incredible experience and you know hey if you guys um if you guys are needing uh sail work down in the fort lauderdale area i mean Ullman sales these guys are top notch um that's not a no paid endorsement or anything there but they are just absolutely fantastic the work was fantastic the knowledge is incredible um yeah. yeah, and and they're just really good people. So yeah. it was really nice being able just to sit and chat with Gareth and Bill, and um, it was yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah. I feel like I learned a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you did. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I did too. So, so I did. Uh, now we're head back home and get this sail back on the boat. Ah! Isn't this lovely, guys? I mean, like, check that out. I am so excited. Yay! It's like getting a brand new sail. So Winston has gotten used to being able to walk on the deck. <laughs> without any obstructions so here he is he is now faced with line in the way can he handle it pups navigating treacherous decks it is a skill of the pups <laughs> it's a skill for us all i think 